Greetings everybody, Okami of Games Online. Welcome back to more Danganronpa in the last episode. Despite the fact Monokuma ceased functioning and it seems like the Mastermind halted their actions, we still ended up finding a dead body who their identity is unknown. As of right now, there's two people it could possibly be. It's either Mukuro, who seems to be the Mastermind, or Kyoko, who as of now is still missing. But we found a key on them, which seems to go to the data center in this episode. We're heading to the data center. I think there's some kind of clue in here. I reached down and put my hand on the door. I closed my eyes and tried to clear my mind. With a silent prayer, I slowly opened the door. Nothing happened. After making sure I was still alive, I slowly opened my eyes. In a ward, the room was... strange. I mean, all the rooms up till now were strange, but this room had a special kind of strangeness. It wasn't a surface fear like the rest of the school. Here, the fear was lurking beneath the surface. The room was filled with that kind of dread. What? What? Hey, that's... Hero extended a trembling hand and pointed. Look at all those monitors on the wall. Look what they're showing. Each monitor displayed a different section of the school. The dorms, the classrooms, every part of the school was covered. This is... What? It's the direct feed from every single surveillance camera. All the cameras in the school feed back into this room, and they're displayed here on the, these monitors. So that's it. So the sole purpose of this room is to watch us. <laughs> to watch us. Then this room is. It's all clear. The mastermind's private room, without a doubt. The mastermind's room. I guess that makes sense. So the mastermind was here, watching us. <laughs> then I think this settles it. Huh? Hm. The body in the garden? If they have a key to this room, it can only mean one thing. <laughs> that was the body of Mukuro Ikusaba, and she was the mastermind. Huh? Then the mastermind is dead? Like really, really dead? <laughs> it would seem so. What? What? For serious. <laughs> it's too bad they had to go and die before Master could kill them himself. Mastermind is dead. Could that really be true? Does that mean it's all over? Because, I mean, that body... Whatever happened, he obviously didn't die a natural death. So, who was that? But the Mastermind really is dead. Woo! And that means we can finally get out of this hellhole. How about that? We gotta hurry up and find the exit. Come on. That's enough. No, we have to check this area thoroughly first. <laughs> well, what about the exit? Hmm. If the Mastermind truly is dead, we can leave whenever we decide to. But right now... <laughs> we need to find out why the Mastermind set up this life or death game in the first place. <laughs> and I'm bothered by the fact that the Mastermind was obviously murdered. What? What? Murdered? So you think so too, huh? Naturally. <laughs> hmm. The stay of the course makes it plain as day. There absolutely, there's absolutely no doubt. The mastermind was murdered. But why is it gotta be that way? I mean, who could have even done it? Such ignorance. That's exactly why I say we need to investigate the purpose and identity of the mastermind. I am telling you. Now do you understand, you useless insect? You're banned from talking to Master ever again. The 
mastermind's purpose and why they were killed. This room may very well hold the answers to those questions. After all, the mastermind must have spent who knows how much time here. Hmm. Okay then, let us begin our search. It's time to uncover the identity of the mastermind. Where do we even begin? There's some computers here. There's a bunch of computers all lined up. They look like high-performance PCs. Nothing like the ancient laptop Alter Ego was installed on. Hmm. They're all on, but they seem to be locked. Hmm. So what? We can't do anything? Just use your fighting spirit to force your way in. <laughs> what century are you from? The Mastermind must have been using uh, these to monitor the network. And Alter Ego. Hmm. You may well be right about that. What? But there's no point in thinking about it now. You're right. What about this TV here? There's nothing showing up on this one. Hmm. Huh? Hey look, next to that TV... Isn't that a uh, TV antenna? How about that? It is! Just like one of those my grandma uses. It's totally one of those high-def antennas. Wait, so if we hook up that antenna, we could watch TV? Huh? Did someone say TV? You know? Well, well. Saturday morning, he is here. Hmm. Uh, are you talking about me? Okay. Anyway, if we can watch TV, let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. You know? Ah, uh, you're all stirred for info from the outside world, huh? Hmm. Alright, let me work my magic. You'll be quantum leaping your way to TV land before you know it. I mean, I get the reference, but what's he talking about? Well, can you hook it up, or... Okay. Still have the TV fixed? You know? Just give me some time, okay? Hmm. I'm gonna make sure we can drive spaceship first. So you... Okay. Do we have to talk to Hero, then? So, you think you can fix the TV? You know? Just a little longer. What, you really want to watch TV that bad? <laughs> Another Saturday morning kid here. Alright, well, there's still the question of this door. The Monokuma door, as it appears. This door's kind of creepy. It's got a picture of Monokuma on it. It could be inside. And it's locked, still. Um... The door's locked, huh? What if you use the key that already opened this room? Let's give it a try, just in case. Nah. No good, won't even fit into the keyhole. Oh. Yeah. Well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. The mastermind's dead, right? So nothing's gonna happen to us. Yeah, I guess you're right. I can't stop thinking about that door with Monokuma's picture on it. But worrying about it isn't gonna do me any good. Hina's right. The mastermind's gone, so there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Do you have anything to say about this, Byakuya? Why was the Mastermind murdered? To figure that out, we need to find out and identify the purpose of the Mastermind. Or we need to find out the identity and purpose. Alright. Ina, you have anything to say? Jeez, I can't believe how many monitors there are. My eyes are flickering as fast as they are. And Toko? What's your problem? Hurry up and find something for Master. Well, we've talked to everybody. We need to number of monitors, yeah. The mastermind's been using them all to spy on us. <laughs> as long as I have this. Uh oh, I think I know where this is going. <gasps> Look at Master Go. It's like a feast for the eyes. How much is I. Monthly membership? You know? Mm, 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 mm. Huh? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. What's wrong? Hmm. Good news for all you. Sorry, morning kitties out there. I think I got the TV working. Ah. Really? Hmm. Now all we gotta do is switch it on. What? Then do it. Ugh. 
freaking idiot, Mastermind. All you guys needed to cut free from your regrets of the outside world. What the heck? And they were sitting here watching TV the whole time. They really thought they could get away with it? Well, what comes on? Huh? Oh, that's... Huh? This is... Hmm. It's the feed coming from the surveillance camera monitoring this room, isn't it? What the heck? Huh, that's weird. Come on. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? That's really weird. Hmm. <laughs> You're weird. Weird in every way possible. And not just weird, super weird. But... This TV isn't hooked up to anything but the antenna. So how's it showing the camera feed? Well... Did you try changing the channel? Uh, um... Oh, good idea. Let's give that a try. Hero went through each channel one by one. But on every channel, it was just... us. It was a live feed of us standing there in the data center. What the heck? Hmm. Is it broken or something? Could it be? No, there must be some kind of trick to it. Some weird setup. Hmm. A trick? What kind of trick? Actually, I'm not sure, but... <laughs> huh? Hmm? Huh? Huh? What? Huh? What? What? <laughs> Been a while, you friggin' bastards! Monokuma? How? Huh? You're supposed to be dead. <laughs> Me? Dead? Don't be friggin' stupid. What? Hey, you're acting kinda strange. Something seems different. Of course! I'm different. Evolution is perfectly natural. After all, I've been hibernating for two years already. Uh... Not even. It's been like half a day at most. How are you alive again? <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> the look on your faces right now is sublime. That's what I wanted to see. The moment you went from hope to despair. <laughs> Don't tell me you pretended to be dead all for this moment. <laughs> Why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones who should pretend to be dead when you see a bear. <laughs> I mean, it's totally laughable, it makes me laugh. I'm gonna laugh now. <laughs> well now. And that's that. Shing. Well, it's almost time to cut off your past so full of hope and begin to despair at the future ahead of you. I want you all to have way more fun in this killing game. Huh? You can't be serious. You have to keep going. Let me out of here! No! You're supposed to get out of here. Get out of here? Are you still obsessed with getting out of here? Unbelievable. How do you not get it? There is no getting out of here. And besides... Yep. This life isn't all bad, you know. I mean, there's stuff you won't like about life no matter where you are. Are you serious? This place is the worst. <laughs> if it's the worst, does that mean you're in despair? Now. Phew, I'm pooped from all that laughing. I guess I'll just get to the point now. The point? Hey, um... You guys really struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed. That TV is an essential part of your school life here. What? I knew it was hiding a secret of some kind. What the heck? Well, I connected the antenna, so why is it just showing us the surveillance feed? <laughs> Look how attentive they are now. Well then, I'm gonna let you in on a blood gushing secret and tell you about it. Ta -da! That TV is absolutely, without a doubt, displaying the signal coming in on the antenna. Huh? But what does that mean? <laughs> what the heck? It's displaying the signal, but it's just us standing here. Unbelievable. Uh, you're so stupid. Don't you get it? Fine, I'll just tell you. Wow! 
Kills! Chills! Kills! This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. What? Extreme! This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. It doesn't matter how many times he says it, I don't know what it's supposed to mean. I mean, even if I understood the words, I'm not sure I'd understand the deeper meaning. What? Broadcast live to the entire world? What kind of bad joke is this? That's it can't be. Have they taken over the airwaves somehow? Oh no! Camera feed is being broadcast? No way, that's impossible! Phew. That kind of overconfidence is a major weakness in your crisis management system, you know that? All you need is one weird trick that I found, and hijacking the airwaves is easy mode. Are you being serious right now? Of course! I heard a kind of creaking. The sound was coming from my own mind. Like a boat tossing it in the ocean, my mind had begun to creak and groan. Hey, um... Everything has a meaning, you know. All those hints I gave you, all those tantalizing tidbits about the school's mysteries. You and me, luring your, you here right now. Why would I do any of that without a reason? It was all for my captive audience, to show them true despair, like they'd never seen it before. I became the director of a despair-based production. This is the ultimate reality show, the best in despair entertainment. What are you saying? You're lying. If this was on TV, the police and everyone else would be going crazy. Uh, um... Yeah, there's no way they would have tried to come and rescue us. Actually... What if they already did? Huh? Yes, indeed! But then again, it's not really any of their business, right? Sure, some people might yell at their TV to try and warn you. But who would actually come here to help? Don't you think that's possible? I don't really know personally though, so whatever. This can't be! But to take control of all communications like that, you'd need an astronomical amount of resources. <laughs> yep. So how could things have come this far? Well... <laughs> that's a secret. There's something you all need to, f to do first, remember? What? Of course! Yeah, duh. There's the little business of... A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! Huh? Last trial? Do you mean... <laughs> <laughs> it's the Monokuma file! I'll leave the next Monokuma file right here. Everyone give it all you got, okay? Heart-pounding excitement! Okay, things are gonna get pretty crazy from here on out. You're in for a heck of a ride. I can't wait! I can't wait! <laughs> We're not done yet. Then he was gone. Reality was incomprehensible, the truth hopelessly out of reach. All we were left with was despair. We stood there for I don't know how long, frozen in place. I couldn't think, but it took everything I had just to keep myself standing upright. Uh -huh. I don't understand any of this. What's despair entertainment? And. How is he still alive? I'm sick of this. I thought that finally, finally we could get out of here. Yeah! And plus, what did he say about a class trial? Stop talking. Well, that part's obvious. The class trial is the class trial. What it means is at this point, we have to figure out who the culprit is. Figure out who killed Kyoko. What? What the heck? What are you talking about? I thought Mukuro Ikusaba was the one who died. <laughs> the victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly fulfills that condition. And if Monokuma is still alive and active, 
That means the, that the mastermind Mukuro Ikusaba isn't dead. <laughs> so naturally, that body can't belong to her. So it must be Kyoko. There is no other possibility. The body is Kyoko's. Kyoko's been murdered? No, it's not possible. Because... Because I don't know anything about her yet. I don't even know who she really is. To have it end like this. I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. Quiet. Whether you believe it or not doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. If you refuse to believe, it's your responsibility to uncover the truth for yourself. Myself. <laughs> anyway, we better begin. But... If we're gonna have a class trial, then that means the killer. That's right. Correct. It must be someone participating in our school life. <laughs> Wait, so you're saying one of us killed Kyoko? Hmm. <laughs> well, that's not precisely what I'm saying, no. Huh? You just said... Stop talking. I don't have time to explain now. There is a, a veritable mountain of issues I need to confirm. <laughs> So I'm going to begin my search. If you value your lives, then you'll put everything you have into this. That is how this game works, after all. Well, I'd better start by checking out the Pokemon Puma file. Due to the explosion, the identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. They could have been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They were also struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. So even the Monokuma file doesn't tell us. Great. The unidentified body. Could it really be Kyoko? I have no choice. I have to investigate. I have to uncover the truth for myself. No matter what, I have to find out what happened or we're all dead. I need to go back to the scene of the crime. Back to the guard. We have the fifth Monokuma file. And now it's back to the guard. Okay, time to get started. I need to check anywhere that might be important. From one end to the other. Just need to do what I always do. Well... Next time on Danganronpa, we're beginning our investigation to our mystery video person. And who killed this mystery person? See you guys then. Danganronpa.